What's your first impressions? Yeah, it's um, it's class. Um, it was my first day there today, and um, the the setup looks really good. The ambitions of the club are obviously a massive, and that's what sort of brought me to the club. Yeah, I mean, you've let Fleetwood by mutual consent. I think were you halfway through your contract there, Brad? Was that right? Yeah, yeah. I originally signed there for two uh, for two years. That was last summer, and um, obviously this opportunity came about, and it was something that I didn't want to miss. So, where were there other clubs that were in for you, Brad? As well, did you have to make a choice? No, no, I don't. I don't think it was. Um, I was obviously happy at, over at Fleetwood, but um, I think Bradford asked the question, and um, the club sort of put it to me and said, "Like, what's your thoughts? Um, if you, if you want to get it done, you can." So um, straight away, I was I was all in. Um, so I wanted to get it done as quickly as possible, if I'm honest. So, what was the attraction then for you? Is it Mark Hughes or is it more than that? Um, no, definitely the manager has a, a, a massive part to play in that. But the stature of um, obviously the club, um, the fan base the club has, um, as I say, the ambitions of the club this season, um, it was just massive for me. Um, it's obviously local uh, for me and my family. So, yeah, just obviously ticks all the right boxes for myself. Yeah, looking down through your career, obviously you spent a lot of time in the North East, uh, so we can't get away from that accent there, Brad, can you, you can tell with Newcastle, no, Borough, no, York, yeah. Hartlepool and, and what have you. So, so yeah, I mean, I, I can understand that. You have had a lot of experience, though, Brad, haven't you? I mean, what's it, nearly 300 senior appearances now, too. So Cambridge was one, obviously, where you did go south for a bit. But yeah. um, in that time, then, what would you say, then, are you going to bring to Bradford City on the back of your career so far? Um, I'd say experience. As you say, I've played a lot of games sort of at this level and, and the league above. Um, consistency, I like to to like base my game around that. If sort of you're consistent and the rest of the team is, then I don't think you'll go too far wrong. Um, and just experience in and out around the changing room with the young lads um, and just voicing my opinion at times. Are you uh, Are you one that's quite forward in what you have to say then, Brad? Um, I'd like to say I'm I'm fairly quiet, um, but obviously when when the time's right, I think I can sort of step up and and like say stuff if if needed. But um, I know the club has a lot of sort of experienced players, probably more so than me, um, that will probably look to sort of do that job as well. You've literally just turned twenty seven. So were there any celebrations yesterday? Uh, there wasn't to be fair um i was sitting around obviously waiting for the news um me and my partner we've just had our little girl ivy so oh, it's congrats. been um thank you yeah it's been hectic to be fair uh the last week week or so <laughs> i bet it has yeah well good yeah. luck good luck with that mate <laughs> thank you cheers uh, but the thing is you're coming into a camp aren't you you know a few of the guys aren't you? richie yeah. smallwood um harry chapman as well and obviously gilead and uh Osadabi as well i understand you, you you've got experience too so how much of a draw was that for you too then brad yeah as I, I think um i was actually speaking with richie sort of before the interest came about um and obviously thought nothing of it, and a few days later, obviously it got put to me. Um, and I was, just, as I say, I was just sort of delighted. Um, so, so wanted to get it done as quickly as possible. And you say that you're consistent in terms of your defending, and that's let's face, that's what you're here for. What are you like going yeah. forward, then, Brad? I like to think I'm I'm good. Yeah, it's a massive part of my game. I like to obviously attack, um, whether that's starting it or sort of finishing it. Um, I do like to get forward, um, supply with as many assists as I can, and, and obviously goals. Mark Hughes has talked about you being a composed player as well. Is that what you like when you're under a bit of pressure? Say, if you know, if you're having to defend, is that what he means? Do you think? Um, yeah. Like definitely, obviously the the league above. Obviously, I spent a lot of time and played against some really good teams at times, some massive teams um, that probably shouldn't be this well, say this low down. But um, so at times we spent a lot of time off off the ball, um, and as I said, it's just sort of keeping that composure, knowing knowing your job, um, knowing other people's jobs, and if they're not doing it properly, helping them out. So um, I do like to think, obviously, I am composed uh, within my game yeah 
And what about your career to date so far? I know there was a bit of play of heartache when you were at Ackington, it was against Wimbledon in the in the semi in the in the playoffs. What have been the highlights of your career? Would you say so far? Um, I think obviously making your debut. That's probably on every, everyone's list. Um, scoring my first professional goal um, away at Portsmouth. Obviously, that was that was a good yeah. moment. Um, and as I said, like make, uh, making playoffs with Accrington, I had a good season. There was a good group of lads. Um, I've enjoyed, obviously, enjoyed my career all the way through and long may it continue. And you say that you're coming to Bradford because you like what, the, what they're trying to achieve this year. I mean, is that is that in simple terms, this side is looking for promotion? It has to get promoted this year. Is that what you're feeling? Uh, 100%, yeah. I think that's obviously my own ambitions uh, personally. I think as a team, that's what we'll, we'll be looking to do. And obviously as a club and the manager, I, I believe it's their ambitions as well. Yeah, it is. They finished so well last year, didn't they? And Mark Hughes really got the, the sort of house in order and what have you after a very difficult season. How would you describe, having met the guys today, how would you describe the feeling amongst them all? Yeah, I think there's just like uh, an aura around the place that we want to come in, we want to work hard, want want to work hard for each other, um, for the fans, and I think the manager will set us up in, in obviously a system, structured system that will allow us to sort of get the best out of us. And as you say, that the, the uh, results at the back end of last season has gave the club a massive momentum going into this season and. As I say, it's something that we need to carry on. So if we can get that momentum and when teams arrive or obviously when we play away, um, we've sort of half beat them already. But um, as I say, it's a massive part of this league is building momentum and um, the sooner we can get three points under the under the belt, the better. And, and uh, how, how do you, just finally then, brother, what about pre-season and uh, how it's shaping up? Is it going to be a tough one? Yeah, it has been. Um, obviously, I started this pre-season over at Fleetwood and it was tough over there but I'd, as I say I did my first day with Bradford today and it it was a tough one so <laughs> I think it's time to get my feet up and rest for the rest of the night 